check it out. That's the uh, first time I've ever hooked two of the lights together. I think it looks awesome. I hooked onto the frame. I actually I started doing it because I need more nuts and by putting them in their final place I can save one per piece. But anyway, uh, it looks pretty sweet. I'm going to go, I still don't have the crank, but I can move it around and show you what the mechanism looks like. There probably was a better way to do that. Um, it was kind of harder than I thought. It's a lot heavier than I expected, actually, though. Should, I guess I should have known it because the outdoor shelter thing that I used was damn heavy when I picked that up by itself, and now we have, you know, that's only half the amount of metal um, that I have in the structure. So, yeah, it's pretty heavy and awkward. I could have waited until I had someone to help me. But, you know, I'm stubborn. So what I was doing, I, don't, I couldn't even find any rope, which is kind of ridiculous. I'm like ashamed of that. Um, but I had this, which is like rubber tubing and it sucks a lot more than I thought because it's really grippy and it wouldn't like slide and readjust. So like I had a slip knot, but it kept, you know, pull up on the one side, I guess, as you saw. And then I just hooked some bungee cords, four bungee cords um, around the rafters here and hooked the corners. So. I guess you could see all of that, but it's kind of cool right now. It's like a big, big, I don't know, spongy monster. Before I make those last two legs, I just um, took these pieces of plastic and bolted them on. There's one there and one there. I guess you can see them both. Um, to just use, you know, if I ever need to hoist it up again, like I did in the beginning. So now it'll... Um, the cable or rope or whatever it will do, at least stay centered instead of sliding back and forth between these points like it was. I could only get done one more leg, so I still have one to do um, before my drill batteries died, which is a pain. Um, but so I started working on the crank, um, trying to come up with a design, and I, it, right before I started cutting things, I finally had an idea that I actually liked. Um, I'm taking a slightly bigger square, um, cutting slots in it, folding them back, which the tabs will actually probably help support it a little bit. Um, I'm going to, I'll have some diagonal um, of some type to hold it in place, and then they'll be offset um, at 90 degrees. So one's coming, and then the next one, whatever. Oh, and I have to go make myself dinner, because I'm pretty hungry. Progress continues. Uh, as you may be able to see, that is all six legs completed, six sets of legs completed, um, and it looks pretty good. I'm currently moving, I'm going to be moving to Cornell um, in like two days, so I'm kind of under, under a crunch trying to pack and finish this up, because I really want to get it to walk before I move, and hopefully that can happen, because I don't know. If I have to take it apart now, I don't know when I'll be able to finish it. But so uh, the garage is filled right now with boxes and things. So I started work on the cranks. Anyway, back to the thing you might actually care about. These are the cranks. Only one of them is bolted together, uh, which is this one. And it's really rigid. 
like if I I won't be able to show you but bending on it pulling on it it's like one of the most rigid connections I've ever made for bolted so it's um it's bolted tight there and there two bolts per side but at 90 degrees to each other um, and the tabs the combination of the tabs and the bolts really worked it's it's super rigid so I'm excited about that um, unfortunately I don't have enough nuts this project used way more nuts and bolts than I expected so I've started cannibalizing a lot of these like bottom connections don't have nuts right now um, and unfortunately to be able to do the cranks I really have to bolt them together because uh, they have to be locked in before I start the next bolt to get the, the set angle. So I'm going to have to cannibalize the current machine for nuts to finish up the cranks. And then tomorrow I'm going shopping for some more nuts and bolts and hopefully I can make this thing walk and then I will move the next day. Also, due to my need for increased accuracy, I am actually using some proper techniques now. I decided instead of just you know guessing where I'm going to put the pilot hole like I have been kind of measuring roughly and marking it with a marker I'm well I'm using a, um, a spade bit not an actual center punch because I don't have a center punch but I'm punching a mark where I want the bit to stay and it works pretty well so let me give it a quick demonstration I still just eyeball where I want it to be but put that roughly in the center and give it a tap And it leaves just enough of an impression that the bit won't wander. So it's actually, it's not bad. Um, it might be a little bit longer than the way I was marking um, when I still have to measure, but it doesn't, it's worth it, I guess. I just did the first two bolts on this one. As you can see, it got a little messed up. I, uh, I pressed down on this part and it flexed, and I guess I didn't realize it. I'm going to reset what I was working on, but so yeah, it's way over 90 degrees. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what to do, um, but I don't think it would be spinning this way. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's going to work. Um, so you got to fix it. We'll see. Finished bolting all these pieces together. Um, I bolted six of them. I actually need five and then two halves, but I don't know why. Forgot about that, uh, <laughs> but I have enough pieces. Um, so this is an example of what a connected one will look like. Um, you know, this would have another, let's see if I figure out what it is. It'll be like a double arm in that direction, then offset from that 90 degrees is the next one, and then offset from that another 90 degrees would be the next double arm. Um, so this is just a piece of thread all, a big bolt. Now the daunting task of trying to hook it up. I, um, this is one crank attached. It's kind of, you know, just sagging in some random position right now. And you can see it really, that's the leg it's attached to because it's really weighing down the middle part. Here's a view. All the other bolts are way up there. Um, and it's really a pain trying to attach things in the center, since I have legs on the outside, I can't really, I can't really reach around. Like if I'm standing over here, I can't reach the center very well. And I have long arms. Like these points are kind of like gouging me in the neck and face and stuff. So that sucks. And from the outside, it's hard and it's hard to see. I should have. Well, if I knew what I was doing or something, I don't know. You know, I could have done the middle legs first and attached all the cranks and worked my way out. And maybe that would have worked, but I don't know. I, there, there was not nearly enough planning for that. So, anyway, this is all I'll do it for now. Hopefully it works.